Hi, this video tutorial I will cover Java exception handling best practices. Always include all information about an exception in single log message. We should not log all information about an exception in multiple log message like this. We should log all information about the exception in single log message like this. Using multi-line log message with uh, multiple calls to the logger.debug may look fine in your test case. But when it shows up in the log file of an app server with uh, 400 threads uh, running in parallel, all dumping information to the same log file. So your two log messages may end up uh, spaced out a thousand lines apart in the log file, even though they occur on subsequent lines in your code. So debugging will be very difficult. Pass all relevant information to the exceptions to make them informative as much as possible. Always terminate the thread which it is uh, interrupted. If interrupted exception occur, we should break like this. We should not ignore like this. Use template methods for repeated try catch. There is no use of having similar cache block in 100 places in your code. It increases code duplicity, which does not help anything. Use template methods for such cases. The close connection kind of method will be used in 1000 places in your application. So don't put entire code in 1000 places. Instead, define close connection method and use it elsewhere. In this case, close connection method is used in finally block. Here we are calling close connection method of uh, dbutil class passing the connection object. This method will close the connection. Document all exception in your application in Java doc. And this is about uh, Java exception handling best practices. And uh, thanks for watching.